Hello fellow Modo notes. Um, here is as promised um, a quick review, a quick first review uh, of that Wacom Companion 2 i7 512GB uh, SSD model here. Um, first I have to say um, I have it for a few days, I got it last Friday and so I set it up over the weekend and First, I have got used to it for the whole, whole thing. My first problem was no, my first experience was whoa, nice. The second thing was oh god, Windows. So, I'm a Mac user um, for many years, and yeah, <laughs> it was uh, the first, the first uh, steps again on Windows was different. So, but now I've upgraded that machine here to Windows 10, I did, and everything works so far, except um, except um, texture or an, uh, an overlay when you press buttons here, you normally see um, what is mapped on the button, and for whatever reason that won't work for Windows 10 for me. And next is um, I'm experienced that um, you have to get used to the system. So you, <clears throat> it's it, yeah, it's not, it's not my Mac Pro, the quick Mac Pro I have over there, which uh, has big graphic cards and uh, good CPU power. That one is different, and it does some things super well. For example, um, yeah, mid-chief, that I have the try version here, because um, Wacom um, supported we, me with that Wacom board here for a month, so yeah, for whatever. Um, and what is really, really cool is, is painting directly, I mean, I know it from from the iPad, but doing that uh, with super pressure sensitivity and stuff like that, it's really amazing. Um, so mid-chief or painting programs are super cool, no doubt. Um, but you want to see Modo, I think, um, and I can do it, sure. First of all, um, rendering speed is super. Rendering speed is okay for me, so it's a portable uh, device, and so I can I can load up the showcase thing. Oh, I'm not in the internet right now. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah, don't like that. Uh, what was it? Can't. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> so I load the car thing up. <clears throat> um, after I've updated, I think at least, uh, at least I think that it's the case. After I updated to Windows 10, so um, it's possible to use uh, the touch screen inside of Modo. So. Um, my first experience was that it won't work, so for example, you can't do nothing. But that's okay because you have to, uh, maybe it's not nah, okay, um, but you have to press uh, the, the good buttons, the alt button, the shift and so on, and then you see it works. If you like to, to use it that way. Um, as you see, I hope you see it a bit, um, the OpenGL performance is quite okay. And even more, um, yeah, I use the pen again. So the rendering speed is it's okay for me. So I mean, hey, come on, this is a machine I'm I can carry with me. Um, so I played a lot with it, and but. I, 
did not produce anything uh, real for now. So I just doodled, I installed everything, I did all these zillions of updates that have to do with Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 and stuff like that. So as you see, I can use that that buttons here, so I don't have a keyboard right now. Um, but I think if you like to work properly, you need a keyboard. I think it's better. So I use that Apple one here. And the funny thing is, um, yeah, I'm, I feel that it makes a difference where you position the keyboard. It's, uh, it sounds crazy, but, but I feel when I put the uh, the keyboard on the left side of the tablet, that works pretty well. So, for example, so I can do all these this stuff I like to do. I can press the three buttons, stuff like that, and so on. You see, that works pretty good. Um, but you can, of course, move the keyboard away and set something on these buttons here. So you have a special uh, menu and you can do it per app. Um, so for example, what I did was I added the Alt, the Alt key on that button here <coughs> and Shift and uh, Control and stuff like that on the other two. And what I also did, um, you have, I uh, don't know if you can see it, you can add these little small radio menus and I set different ones on this uh, circle here. So for example, if I press the left, the, uh, the left button here, I have added uh, W, E, R, for example. <coughs> um, I added the keys one, two, three, and five. I have added frame all. And I have another one here. Um, uh, I added STRG1 to get this uh, pie menu and STRG2. Um, so I think you can, I have to test it, but I think you can work uh, without a keyboard in Modo. Maybe I have to add some more buttons like B for uh, bevel, stuff like that. I have to see. So that is my first impression about that thing. I have to say in the end, right now I think it's cool. I think you can work with Modo when you uh, on a trip or something. And you can use that one here and connect it to your Mac or to your Windows machine and you can use it as, an, it's, it's, it's like a normal something but I did not have tested that. So overall, painting is superb and 3D modeling works. Um, I think I'm making another videos, uh, a video or videos, how it goes on. Um, but overall, I have to say it's cool. Uh, by the way, what does not work is the advanced viewport. So, hmm. And it's also problematic to run um, Mari. Uh, but I think it's a little bit strange because on the other side I can run uh, Mudbox and I can paint with textures and stuff like that. So, hmm, why do I not have the possibility to use uh, Mari even when it runs slower? But I can't use it at all, so it crashes a lot. It's uh, with Windows 8.1, it crashes instantly. After the update to Windows 10, I can use it. So uh, I have to test that again, and I think I make a new video about my experience there. But just to end that video, you can uh, start pretty well. But it can't move anymore. What? Okay. I have no idea what's going on here. Hmm. Okay. It 
almost works. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. That's my first review. I make another video or more videos if you like. And yeah, I like it.